friends, Stephanie Bernard at the Stamps of Life, and it is Kit Club time. I love doing these videos because not only do I get to see all of my hard work put into one box, but I get to play as well. So are you ready for this reveal? Ooh, I'm so excited, I love this part. Okay, ready? Now I always like to do the first thing, and that is I like to show the color palette because that really kind of sets the mood if you ask me, right? So we're gonna open this up and I'm gonna get my cheat sheet just to make sure I get them all right. Okay, so here we go. We have cherry, which is very appropriate. I will tell you why in just a minute. Uh, we have strawberry. We have pool. We have kiwi. We have sunshine. We have pixie. We have lemonade. We have ocean and of course, our handy dandy powdered sugar. Well, if this doesn't scream summer to you, I don't know what it could be screaming, right? Now, no pun intended because ice cream for ice cream, that was like our whole theme this month. And you know what? This color palette is perfect for that, right? So let's see what else we have. Let's look at the uh, pattern paper pad next. Let's look at this, the So Cool collection. Get it cool because ice cream cools you down. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, this looks gorgeous. Oh, first we have some cherries, perfect. And we have some cute sundaes. I love it, love it. Oh yes, some coloring sheet, I mean some cutout sheets, which are always so, so handy. Absolutely love those. Here we have So Cool, So Cool, So Cool. I like it. Oh, sprinkles, yay, sprinkles, sprinkles, sprinkles. Then here we have lots and lots of fun dots. And here we have some cute cherries. Oh, and I love these plaids. Are you noticing how fun those plaids are? Here we have the mini sundaes and the mini so cool. Ooh, and some fun circle dots. I love those. Ooh, stars. And mini sprinkles. And then we start all over again. I love it, love it, love it. Perfect. Okay, what else do we have? Oh. Nobody shows me anything. <gasps> Look at how gorgeous these felt banner, or felt strips are. Perfect for borders. Look at that, one, two, three, four, five. I love those. Oh, those are cute. Those turned out good. Uh, let's see. Oh, you are getting a free die. Now, I know everybody likes it to be a surprise, so I won't show you the free die set, but this is just because, you know what? We like you. So free die set in here, not gonna show it to you, but it's an awesome one actually. It's actually a really, really awesome one. Uh, let's see, oh, stamp set. Here's our cute stamp set. It says close by or far apart, friends are always in your heart. And there's two little cherries that are different sizes. And then we also have a couple extra nuts and things like that to put on there. We also, of course, dun dun dun, dun have the dies that match, which are always so, so important, right? Then we also have another die set, so cool. So now you could say so cool, or you could just say cool. I mean, how fun is that? So cool, and it's a nice fun handwriting. Make sure you are using the adhesive sheets on the back of those because you know what? That's gonna, those are so intricate, they're gorgeous. Let's see, of course you're getting the handy dandy idea card, which I always love to have. And you're getting, of course, your envelopes can never have too many envelopes, let me tell you. And of course, oh my gosh, it just keeps coming home. You're also getting a handy dandy storage envelope. Forgot to show you that already. And you're getting, ooh, what's that? Oh my goodness, it keeps, look at this. You are getting a fun Cards That Wow booklet. Why? Just because we had some extras and we thought it'd be fun for you to see some of the things that we do. We have a lot of awesome things in here because we want you to see that we do fold it, stamps, I mean, Lots, you're gonna enjoy that. Then we have two ribbons, and it's a cute pink dot and a fun ocean seam binding, which you can never have too much seam binding. Two more things still, can you believe it? And you're getting these fun chipboard, oh my goodness gracious, I love those cute little ice cream cones. I love those. And last but not least, epoxy dots. Now, you can never have too many epoxy dots because let me tell you, I always run out. So, woo, I am excited about this. Now, let me share with you my samples and then I get to make a card. Can you so, spin that a little bit? The black mat, there you go, okay. perfect. 
Let me show you my fun samples. So here's a cute one. Cool. Look at that. Using the paper pad so you don't even have to bother cutting that out. I love having this banner, I mean the border here and the ribbon. Just adds so much to it. Isn't that cute? I love that. Here's a cute one. Close by or far apart, friends are always in your heart. Look how cute that is. I love that. Oh, and here's the apple. Look at how cute this green apple is. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love that. And I love how we added the little nuts just as a little, kind of like a, just a little background paper. You can make your own background paper if you wanted. Ooh, look how cute this is, cool. It's just a little tag. This would be a perfect little um, tag to give like on a present or something like that. Just a little add on, add on bonus, I love it. How cute is that? Oh, and then look at this. Oh my goodness, look at that, so cool. I love it. It's just so, oh, I love it. Oh, and a cute little, it got an extra bonus. Eh, that's funny. I don't know how that happened, but look, it had an extra bonus on it, but so cute. I love it, I love it. Now, yay, now it's time. It's time for me to get to play, which I don't always get to enjoy, and it's always fun because it's a brand new kit, so I have everything I need, and I'm just gonna move some stuff around so I have some room here. Okay, let's make something. Now, I do know I wanted to use this card die set because I haven't gotten to use it very much lately. It's the Elegant Step step Up. Well, Stephanie's not perfect. It says Elegant Step Up, but it's really an Elegant Stand Up, okay? So we're gonna get this die set out. Yes, Stephanie is not perfect. And Stephanie makes mistakes quite a bit. Okay, so we're gonna get this out, and you know what? To make my life easier, I am going to grab my handy dandy workstation because it just makes my life so much easier having everything vertical because Tiffany says you always want to have everything vertical. Get rid of that. So we're going to put everything vertical so I can see everything, which is perfect for your kit, right? Because then you have everything and I'm going to kind of, I'm going to show you this when I get it all loaded so you can really see what I'm talking about here. Let's kind of clean that up a little. And I want you to see how awesome this is all kind of cleaned up a little. So I'm gonna just drop all that in there, get that in there. Oh, we don't need envelopes right now, so we'll move that off to the side. So I got my die in there. And, oh, idea postcard just in case. And I got my little dies in here. But the reason why this is so darn awesome is because you can see everything. So now I can see my, pretty much my entire kit, right? I can, let me move it to the, so you can see. I can see, this is the workstation. I can see my entire kit. So now, look how clean my desk is. I'm gonna put this in there too. My desk is so clean and it's all vertical so I'm saving on desk space. So that's an amazing option. So we're gonna grab this out. So I'm gonna get this die set out and I'm missing one die. So I'm gonna grab, oh, there it is. Okay. And we're just gonna put that in there and we are going to do some die cutting. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick white for my card base just because, you know what, why not, right? I mean, you just might as well um, because, you know, what else are you gonna use it for? So I'm gonna grab that, I'm going to run this through and I'm just gonna run that through my Gemini real quick. Get that all lined up because then I can think about something else. I need to do some pattern paper pieces for the layering. So I'm going to look at this. And I'm kind of thinking I like that so cool. Thank you, Gemini. And so I'm going to grab that. I have the card base and I'll just put that over here off to the side so it doesn't get lost. Literally, you lose a lot less stuff when you have everything in your craft and carry. So now I think I am going to use Oh, you know what? I was really looking at this so cool. I think I need to use that so cool. So I'm gonna use the so cool for the layering pieces. I gotta make sure I do it the right way because you know I don't wanna accidentally do my layering pieces like that where the so cool will be kind of messed up, right? And let's just grab this really quick and lay this down on there. So I'm just gonna lay these down, kind of make sure that they don't move too much because we certainly don't want to have our so cool kind of be crooked. So we're gonna run that through. And then I'm gonna need another layering color. I'll probably just use uh, da, 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 that blue. Love that blue color. Brand new cutting pads. Can you tell they're making a lot of noise? It's so nice to have new cutting pads. 
Now, anytime you have a die cut machine, you are gonna get those cut marks in your cutting pads. That's why they're called cutting pads. So that is standard, that is normal. And so here we have that and that. Let's get these out of the way. And my die cut pieces, again, can go right over here. Let's move that one back. Okay, and now I'm putting it right back in the storage envelope. Now I'm gonna get this piece here, and let's see if there's another piece. Oh, I might wanna use this piece too. So let's grab this one just in case. Because, well, actually, you know what? I know I'm not gonna use that one. So I'll go ahead and use this one, and I'm gonna use this one over here because I'm gonna do something else. I need some pieces. Well, actually, just move that. I am going to need some pieces to die cut also. So I'm gonna lay that down, and I'm going to get my die cut sheet, right? Because look at this. And because I am a die hard member, actually, I'm an everything member, but if you're a diehard member, you are going to have the dies that match. And so I am going to grab, and actually I am going to use these pieces. I'm gonna use the inside pieces. And I'm also going to get out the little cherry die, I think. I think I'm going to if I have it handy. And there's one. Let's grab him. Ah, crash. Let's move these off there. Oh, I might need some, well, okay. Let's leave that die out just in case we might wanna add some hot fudge. And let's get that out. Okay, there we go. I like to talk a lot, can you tell? <laughs> okay, so let's get some washi tape. And oh, I usually have some right here. And well, we don't need to washi tape that, but I'm gonna lay this down. Look at how that layers perfectly right on top of that. And I'm just gonna washi that down. And I am going to washi tape this guy down because I don't want it to move when it goes through the machine, right? Because I want it to kind of really cut that out well. So we're gonna lay that down, perfect. And we're gonna lay that down. And then we are going to get the little cherry die. And we're gonna lay that down right there. I don't know if we're gonna use that one for sure, but we wanna make sure we have it just in case. Okay, let's run all this through. And, ooh, I can use a smaller cutting pad. Isn't that always handy? It's always nice when you can use a smaller cutting pad because then that means less rotations on the machine, right? Let's move that over. There we go. And we'll use the other machine. I like to do both machines so people don't think I play favorites. I really don't. Um, so let's run that through. Just like that. And now we have lots of fun pieces. Again, I'm gonna put these right back in there so I don't lose them. And I have some fun pieces here. So that one's already gone. That one popped out already. Get the little cherry. There we go. Whoops. There we go. There we go. Put that where the envelope. Oh, that envelope. And the nice thing about the craft and carry also is you can leave your envelopes open and you can just drop the dies right back in there so you don't have to even misplace them at all. Okay, so now we got that. Let's put our card together. Let's grab the card base. So I'm gonna grab the card base and I'm going to fold that in half on the score line the die already created. And I'm going to finger fold on this score line that the die already created. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the, die, the cutouts that I've already die cut and I'm going to add adhesive to the back of this one. Just like that. This is so cute. Now stand-up cards are just so perfect for like someone in the hospital or someone on their bookshelf. And they're just fun because they stand up and it just kind of just changes the whole everything about it, right? Because you know, when a card actually stands up for display, hopefully the recipient will display it a little bit more than normal, right? A little bit more than they would have nor uh, without a stand-up card. Now I have this layering piece and this is just out of the pool colored cardstock. So we're gonna add that right here. Look at how that layers on there just perfectly. Now, I want to add my cute little Sunday. And when I do this, I want, I see that, I'm gonna put it right there and then look, when it stands up, it's gonna stand up for display. So I'm gonna lay this down and I need to really make sure it's at the pretty much the very, very bottom of this. And in fact, you know what? I've decided I'm going to die cut the shadow die to put the shadow die behind this. 
So I'll do the shadow die of that and the shadow die of the ice cream. Okay, so there's the shadow die and there is the real die. And I think I'm going to do this in the, let's do the lemonade because lemonade is nice and soft, but it's also not white, right? So we're going to go ahead and do that in both colors, just like that. And I'm going to lay those down and I'm going to die cut those through. Oops lay that down and run that through. Easy peasy, right? And now I have yellow shadows for the dies that I've already cut out. So now I'm going to add adhesive to the back of these die cuts. And it's going to go right on this shadow die. Look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? Now, I'm not going to press down all the way, and I'll tell you why, so give me a second. So now I'm going to add adhesive to the back of this cutout. I love that our dies have two options. You can die cut the shadow or the actual piece itself. So you have options. You can make the shadow a different color, like I have here, and you get to mix and match and do however you want. So I'm going to add that. Now, again, I'm not going to press down all the way at the top, and then we're going to thread this on there. Now, to make this easier, if we want to make this easier, we can just trim off the bottom because we're not going to see any of that, right? So we can just trim off that bottom. That's going to make it easier to get on there. And we already have adhesive on there. So we're just going to add this, thread it through just like that. Look at that. Look at our ice cream. Isn't it cute? And we're going to make sure. There we go. There we go. Thread that one. Oh, perfect. Perfect, look at that, isn't that cute? Now, we have our little ice cream and it's gonna pop up like that, but we need to add a couple more little things. So let's look at what we have here. We can do, I'm almost thinking, I kinda wanna say, let's see, you're so sweet. Um, you're so sweet, my friend. Wouldn't that be cute? We're actually, I'm gonna actually stamp right on this because I'm looking at that going, oh my goodness, that would be perfect to stamp on. So I'm going to grab a, stamp, a block and I am going to get You're So Sweet, and I'm gonna lay it down this way, You're So Sweet. And then I'm also gonna get My Friend, because it's two stamps, but you can put them together. So I'm gonna say You're So Sweet, My Friend, and I'm gonna line those up and get some tweezers to help us so we don't have to touch so much, right there. That looks pretty good, right? And move that down just a little. We want to try, try to line it up the best we can. So it's face down right now. Now we're going to drop that on. Now it's ready to stamp. So I'm going to grab some ink. Going to ink that up. And this is the first time I've touched these brand new stamps. And I'm going to do that. Perfect. Ink that up again. So the second time it's going to look even better. And I'm gonna stamp that right there. You're so sweet, my friend. Look how cute that is. That looks like it was made to go there, doesn't it? I love it, I love it. Now, what, let's see, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna take this little, I like to call it a little belly button notch. We're gonna lift that up just a little bit. So when we lay this down, look how cute that's gonna be. It says, you're so sweet, my friend. Now, just to finish this off, I think we should add a little bit of ribbon and I'm really going towards that pink. So let's grab this pink and let's add a little bit of ribbon to it. Let's turn it this way so I can see it. And I'm gonna go right along the top. And I'm gonna do it over here on the side. So I'm gonna grab this. And to make it a little less noticeable, like so it stands out but not so much, I am actually going to just tie a knot. So I'm gonna come over here Grab this, go behind the ice cream, just like that, and then we're going to tie a cute little knot. Just like that, look how cute that is. And let's get some good scissors to trim that. Oops, there's one. There's two. Now what we have is you're so sweet, my friend, you're gonna open it up and now you can write your little message. You can say anything you want on the inside. But also, one last thing, remember, we always wanna make sure we sign the backs of our cards because we want people to know we actually made it, am I right? 
because we don't want them to say, well, maybe she didn't make this. And we want all the credit. So I was thinking of you, so I made you this card. Hug Stephanie. Because, of course, we have personally stamps available on our website. So here we go. Look how cute that is. You're so sweet, my friend. We're going to open it up. We can write our little message. We have that belly button notch, so it holds up just like that. And, of course, we have our stamped image on the back. Look how cute that is. Now, club members, your kit clubs are on their way to you. Ken gets those out as soon as he possibly can, and you know what? You're going to have so much fun. Don't forget, I didn't even show you the freebie that you're going to get this month. Why did we give you a freebie? You know why? Because we love our club members. Now, if you're not in the kit club, you need to join. You're going to have so much fun with all these goodies. You can get enough product to make a minimum of 12 cards. Most people say they make way more than that. And you know what? Look how cute it is. I love it. I can't wait to make some more. So thank you so much, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.